What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fallout 4. It's uh, Lester's back, back, back at it. And we just got a new quest. We're supposed to talk to a bunch of settlers at Tempine's Bluff. And figure out what's going on over there. Uh, cause they need help with something. So, yep, here it is. It's right over there. Um, so what we'll do is we're just gonna fast travel to... Yeah, let's go to Concord. And then we can just walk over there. It'll be a lot quicker doing it this way. And we're gonna find out what's going on. Um, I also tweaked a few settings and I'm actually using a few mods. Only one actually, I believe. Um, which basically causes your weapon, and I'll show you in a second. Um, to not be pointed straight forward when your character is just standing. Uh, because it's a little weird in, in Fallout. How, you know, your character will do this, so... Normally, he'd just point his weapon sort of like that. But now, when I'm not in a fight, he'll just lower it like that. And it looks a lot more natural to me. So, I just thought that that would be a cool idea. Anyway, this is the, uh, the area where we fought the Deathclaw earlier, where we got the power armor. Uh, this is the area I came from. Should I go down there? Yeah, okay, maybe not. I guess this this area is maybe just to uh, to spawn in the death claw, and it doesn't really do anything else. But all right, I also tweaked a few settings, so I'm hoping that performance will be a bit better. As it does get a little, um, there's some hiccups there here and there. So all right, so I lowered one setting, which should improve it a lot. Uh, so we'll see. And then the other mod I downloaded is something that should make the game look a bit nicer. I think it works, actually. I do think that everything looks a bit better since I installed it, so that, that's good. Um, so I'm going to include the mods that I use in the description of the videos as well. Uh, sort of, you know, similar to what I did for Fallout 3. Alright, let's see. That's that weapon. I only have two weapons. Are you kidding me? Okay. Nope, this will be fine. Two weapons is more than enough. Oh boy. Oh, look at this bus. Maybe there's some goodies inside. Well, there we go. That's not bad. Let's see. I did... Alright, so I did clear out my inventory a bit. Um, hunting rifle. Set that to three. Laser musket four. Alright. Here we go. So we haven't used this one yet. But I'm excited to try it out. We don't have too much ammo, so we gotta try and uh, save it a bit. But if we run into any dangerous enemies, then I just I'm just gonna take out the hunting rifle and fire it. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite weapons from Fallout 3, so I was really happy to see it returning and with a lot more customization as well. All right, I think we're getting close now. Oh. There's a settler out there. Let's go talk to him. Let's see what they uh, what if there's anything these guys need or if they're just set. Oh. Don't mention it. I wish I had better news. It's better to know. Thanks for your help, Doc. Safe oh track. God. What's wrong with that lady? Hello. For a small fee, of course. Uh, hear anything? Any news out there, Doctor? Nothing that would interest you. Now let's talk about you and your health. Yeah, I just want to make some money. All right, let's trade. Use some supplies, actually. All right, but go easy on the chems. All right, so I'm guessing the doctor sells a lot of um. Let's see, it's just stuff like medicine, just doctor supplies. But all right, let's sell these weapon mods that I'm never going to use anymore. Uh, basically anything, but I, I feel like Burnt Lifestyle Magazine. Let's get rid of that. Uh, I'm going to keep that one, actually. Coffee pot. Uh, fancy hairbrush. It's worth a few caps. All right. Is there anything? Wedding ring. I'm not going to sell my wedding ring. That would be pretty messed up. Um, all right. That'll have to do. So we made 20 caps. That's good. See a doc. What's now wrong with you, man? Is the only doctor I trust. The rest of them are all quacks, as far as I can see. Hey there. Going to see Doc Anderson? I can't recommend her highly enough. 
All right, so that is a ghoul, I'm pretty sure. Uh, they looked a little different in Fallout 3, especially people that were exposed to just crazy amounts of radiation. And as a result, they uh, they look a little messed up and they age a lot uh, slower than normal people. All right, I'm just going to stick with the armor I have then. All right, well, so let's go down over here then. What is this? Hello. Oh, God. Oh, no. I'm sorry. What is going on with blood? Every, there's blood everywhere. What the hell was that? Okay, that might be because of a mod that I installed. Uh, whoa. What? Get out of here. All right, at least I'm playing on normal. So they don't really... Oh, hello. So they're not that bad. But when you're playing on survival, like on my main character, I'm playing on survival right now. Everything will destroy you. Uh, and I do mean everything. All right, that's Bedford Station. I don't know what's up with this. Oh. Oh, we got some ghouls here. All right. This I got to see. Yep, hunting rifles, not bad at all. Ghouls are, uh, yeah. They uh, sort of look like zombies now. Oh, God. Leave my doggy alone. Are you kidding me? Get him, dog meat. Take him out, boy. Yeah, so they're actually a lot more creepy than they were in Fallout 3. At least in my opinion. They were already pretty creepy, but they got worse. Oh, this one's alive. Oh, boy. Oh, there's more. Come on. What the heck? And this, this, this area is just completely overrun with these guys. Good job, dog me. You got him. This guy is just, just, his leg was completely ripped off. Oh, there's more? So many of them. God. Where, where'd he go? Oh, what? Where is he? Dog meat, what are you doing? Where is he? What? Wasn't there a guy just now? Is he under there? What is going on? Okay, so I'm not really sure what's going on. Maybe he left? Yeah, I don't get it. All right. Well, at least we had our first run in with some ghouls. So there's there is ghouls that are normal and then there's feral ghouls who just go insane or something because of the radiation and they will attack you. What? Oh god, there's one more. Don't worry, dog meat. You got your back, buddy. Cuz you got mine. All right, hold still. There we go. That's how it's done. All right, so they drop some rounds, which is nice. We have about 30 ammo for the hunting rifle. There's more? There is more. All the way over there. All right, I should probably be able to take him out with one shot. Did it kill him? Almost. And there we go. And we got triple experience for killing him, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Let's just go through here. Look at that bridge. I kind of want to check that out as well. You know, just see what's happening. I don't like this open area. I don't trust this at all. Yep. There's a dog. That works pretty well. Oh boy, dog meat. There we go. Apparently he ate a toy car. Oh, there's a little... Oh, that's nice. 
Some supplies, little signs saying, hey, go up there. So they're actually leading people towards their settlement. I'm not sure if this is a trap or what, but I appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty good. Yeah, I kind of feel like something something is out here. Just hiding somewhere. Ten Pines Bluff, here we go. We found it. We leveled up. Alright, so before we do anything else, let's uh let's get our next perk. Let's see. So gun nut is something we definitely want. Yeah, another thing I like is um awareness. I never got this on my actual on my own character. You know, I'm just gonna take it. I wanna see how good this actually is. It allows you to see damage resistance and stuff like that. Oh, look at that. So they're immune to radiation. This guy's level one. What's up, uh, guys? Don't worry, we'll take care of the roach. I can see him through the wall. Why? Roach. He was up on the wall. Look at the baby little roach. Alright. I honestly hope this is not the thing that they needed help with because it was just three red roaches. It really was not that bad. Honestly. Now let's get some potatoes here. These are apparently just mutated tomatoes, but you can eat them to regain some health, and then also, uh, I can plant more of them. Back in Sanctuary. Oh, what's up? How are you? Really? You're just gonna ignore me? Alright. You know, that seems reasonable. Oh, hello. Oh, God. We don't need any more trouble around here. Um, why are you pointing a gun at me? Do you always do that? Do you always point a gun at everyone you meet? I'm afraid I do these days. If we lose any more of our crops, we'll be done for. Oh, I just stole all of those. We've got nothing for you. Um, all right, so the Minutemen sent me. Didn't you ask the Minutemen for help? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. Um, all right, well, we're back. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're the good guys again. Glad to hear it. No question that things have been worse since the Minutemen fell to pieces. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Yeah, I'll do it for you. I'll take care of them. Thanks, friend. If you folks are for real this time, it'll be a welcome change for the better. Alright, so she wants us to go... where? All the way out there. Oh god, alright. Alright, but before I do that, I kinda just wanna go to Sanctuary and plant my tomatoes. They always send you very far away. Maybe that's, they just do it on purpose at the start of the game to have you, you know, explore stuff. Because I know that when I start walking over there, I'm going to find so much other stuff to do that I might never even arrive. And that was actually a pretty cool hammer. Alright, so look at my power armor. So nice looking. Alright, let's get some... Uh, oh, what, what's happening? Game is freezing. Hello? Hello? All right, guys. Sorry about the interruption. We're back. Uh, we're gonna plant some some potatoes. I don't know what was going on that whole crash thing. Um, I thought maybe it had something to do with me going into the workshop view because of the mod uh, I have installed. Maybe it crashed or something. Uh, but it works fine. So it was one of those you know freak accidents that people are always talking about. So let's just get some delicious potatoes going. Look at that. Oh god, okay. Mama Murphy, can we talk? 
That is definitely not food for these people. Oh, let's eavesdrop. to be able to uh, you can't talk to the dead kid even the site has limits i'm sorry oh that poor guy and then also mama murphy is clearly just a junkie but you know what are you gonna do about it let's uh speak to sturgis though <clears throat> we fix up the food supplies hello now this place is starting to feel like home now that we can grow our own food i think we can really make a go with this Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. All right, um, I'll do it. I'm on it. Ah, thanks. It'll make everyone feel more secure here. Say, I'm sure that it will. You join us here, kid. Oh God. What are you hey. doing? She just, just showed up right behind me? Trying to freak me out. All right, so we can make things like turrets, but we don't have uh, circuitry. Circuitry. Um, so we can kind of have to make a guard tower. Boom. All right. So it will provide good defenses, but uh, we're going to need somebody to actually stand guard. Let's ask this guy. He's got nothing better to do. He's just chilling here. Come on, buddy. And there we go. Defenses have been built. Talk to Sturgis again. All right. What's up, man? That'll help oh. make everyone feel a little more secure. Thanks. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Home. Feels good. Um. All right. Well, glad to help, man. Home for you. What's next? Yeah, what's next? What next? Well, I guess figuring out how to get back to living instead of just surviving. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows, too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. Um, all right. I mean, I like how he says that his door is always open, even though I did all the work. This is my place now. Um, it's Codsworth. What was it? Oh, yeah, right. I was going to talk to Mama Murphy. Oh god, look at these sad sex. Go sit in your I'll guard tower. Useful. <laughs> no one wants to see a grown man feeling sorry for himself. Yeah, exactly. Get to work, man. Hello. This is all empty though. Alright. Get out of my way, doggy. Come on. Where'd Mama Murphy go? She was starting to talk to me just now, and I just um uh, Kind of ignored her and walked away. I'm guessing she's most likely not doing any work anywhere. She's probably just sitting somewhere. Oh, what is that? Kickball. Maybe we can kick that around. Are you in here? No, that's Sturgis. Nice job with those defenses. I've got nothing else I need right now. I think Preston may want to chat though. All right, sounds good. Oh, it's a blood fly. All right. Let's see, there's actually one more thing that I wanted to, uh, check, which is this. Yes. I actually found this, uh, pretty late myself, but this is actually a really nice area when you just start playing. Uh, just some good stuff. Shovel. You gotta have your shovel, a bunch of food. You know, uh, we got some, uh, some beer, and, uh, what else do we have? Oh, right, gold bars. Which are worth a lot of money. So that's sweet. I think there's three of them. Gold bar. I like how it actually goes into junk. Alright. Lock tight. We can't unlock the safe, sadly. I'm just gonna take everything that I can. Alright. Even the aluminum cans. Alright, that's pretty much everything here. So I'm going to use the gold bars to get some early caps. And all the other stuff I'm just going to ditch for now, but it's some, some good stuff. It's quite nice, really. 
Um, as you can see, there were three gold bars, and they're worth like 400 caps each or something. Uh, so that's 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 a good start right there. All right, why is nobody standing guard? Are you joking me? Is he stuck or something? What do you? You know what? I don't even care. Don't even care. All right, let's see. My junk. All right, so aluminum cans. Yep, just ditch them in there. All I really want to keep is the uh, gold bars. All right. Ditch all of this stuff in there. All right, cool. Yeah, so we didn't get... Um, I can just scrap the extra one. I should have done more. Is he talking to me right now? Alright, we're not gonna need this actually. Alright. Oh wait, no, I was gonna upgrade the hunting rifle. Yeah, you can actually upgrade a lot of things about it. You can even change the ammo that it uses, which is really cool. Uh, short light barrel. That's not bad. The weight will go down as well, but I don't have too many, um... Let's see, too many supplies right now. I don't want to waste them, you know? I think I'll just improve the damage on the pipe pistol for now. Actually... Man, I want to turn this thing into a, a, a rifle. But we're going to need copper for that. Alright, so let's just make it stronger then. Hardened. Uh, let's give it a... That's not bad, actually. Yeah, let's give it a short light barrel. And that's pretty much all we can do right now. Alright. At least it's going to be a bit better now. Oh god, the weather is definitely not going the, the right way here. Dude, stay to your tower. What is so hard to understand about this? I should just shoot this guy, really. I know I'm not the only person here. Who feels so I just I miss him so much. Oh, I'm gonna shoot him. Right in his face. One day though, one day. Alright, so that is the uh the guard tower. Look at that. Our settlement is doing a bit better. We got some food, which is great. And I guess in the next part, we will start making our way for the Crevega assembly plant from uh, the Bedford Station. We'll just start going there. Actually, we still need to loot Bedford Station. You know what? Let's just throw it in here. Let's just put some, some bonus stuff in the video. Why not? I have no clue how long this video will even be. Uh, because it's going to be cut up into two different parts because of the, the sweet crash we saw earlier, so... Let's see, we cleared this area. We know that all the ghouls are gone. Ooh. Oh, we found something. What'd you find, buddy? What'd you, what'd you find? Yeah, I already found that, though, didn't I? Oh, look at that. There was still something there. It's a bit dark in here, so I, I can actually tell. Alright, railway spikes. Alright, no idea what I'm going to need those for, but I'll take it. So we cleared out all the ghouls, and for some reason we completely forgot about actually looting the place. Whoa. Dutchman instructions. Oh, is he actually Dutch? Are you kidding me? We just got a pipe rifle, which is what I wanted all along. I'm going to take that. Um... That one's also pretty good, actually. All right, we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. Surveyor outfit. I kind of do want to just wear normal stuff. Just go with eyeglasses, stuff like this. Just gonna look like a normal dude. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna walk around like this for now. Um, but all right, let's check these instructions that he's he he had. Deliver your package to the old switching station. The runner arrives at midnight. If you need gear, look for the blue barrel. Oh, that's good. So if we can... Oh, is it a blue barrel, boy? What is it? Oh, it's a it's a rifle. All right, good job. Good job, little man. 
Alright, get out of my way, barrels. We're looking for a blue barrel here. <laughs> Dog me just opened the, uh, the door on the train. I don't know how he keeps doing that stuff. Take that, actually. Station Master's Terminal. Alright. Uh, plate tape. Alright. take that tape with me. I'm not sure what I'm going to need it for, but I'll take it. Man, that poor guy. He was trying to save his buddy. Got murdered. That's going to be rough. I'll take a bucket. Alright, so that guy was trying to save his buddy, I believe, and then got killed. And now we're looking for a blue barrel. As there should be supplies in there. Uh, I'm just not really sure where to look. Oh, that's part of the station, though, isn't it? That could be good. I'll take a lantern. Maybe I can even put the lantern in Sanctuary and actually light it. That'd be... That'd be pretty cool. Oh, this is it. The dead drop. Look at this. Oh, God. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's see. We got a uh, leather chest piece. Alright, let's just wear this leather armor that we just got. I hate raider stuff, so I'm going to drop that for now. Um, Alright. Great knit cap. All right, only thing missing is the rote leathers. Here we go. See, this outfit isn't that bad. I like this a lot more. So I'm just going to walk around with this and leave the raider gear. And we got some ammo as well, which is really cool. That is just cool. All right, let's see what else there is. There's got to be something in this area as well, I'm guessing. And I want to find out what it is. All right, so... All right, I'm going to use the pipe rifle instead of this little pipe pistol. All right. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, no. What? What was I shooting for that to happen? <laughs> what? God damn it. All right. Let's retrace our steps. Hey, good job, buddy. Uh, let's see where it auto saved. All right, so I'm gonna take the tape. All right, this is why you save all the time. Normally, when I'm playing by myself, I just save every few minutes, but I don't want to do that, you know, when I'm recording, because it's gonna look um, pretty boring if I keep doing that. So, all right, let's collect the dead drop again. At least it's not going to cost as much time because I know what to do. I'm going to take everything. Then equip the leather, 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 leather. Uh, all we're missing is a left leg. That's weird. Why would there be an entire um, leather outfit except for a left leg? Yeah, it seems a little weird. Alright, so before we go over there, let's quick save. Let's do this. Now I know there's explosives here, so whatever I was shooting... Oh, it was this little thing. I, di I did know that those were explosive. I just didn't realize there was one. Yep, right here. I also had no idea how uh, sensitive that thing was to being shot at. Uh, sorry, ghoul. Man, he is just destroyed. Look at this. 
That's gonna suck for him. There's probably more of them in here, I'm guessing. That one's alive, isn't it? Oh, it's not. Alright. This is pretty good. There's so much stuff to do. That's kind of the annoying thing about Fallout. Is if you play it... Ooh. If you play it nice and slow, there's so much to do. Alright, let's check this terminal then. Um... All right, regulations. Everything needs to be locked to the terminal. Okay. Shipments. Okay, blah, blah, blah. All right. Uh, so they got some electrical wire. Bulk crate of fastenings. Steel rebar. I don't understand what matters here. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what to think about this. Is there something interesting about this computer, or is it literally just sort of immersion type stuff, you know? Like, oh, hey, look. Look how real this all is. There's actually, you know, like, documents available. Oh, this is probably what the, uh, the shipment included, I'm guessing. But, you know, it's ruined now. After a nuke was dropped on it, so that sucks for them. Alright, so in the next part, guys, we are going to make our way to the, uh, the factory thing that we're supposed to go to. We're gonna, I don't know, kill some raiders, apparently. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.